We're going to look at some options for doing more advanced searching in Engine Orange. If you start from the library's homepage at library.shsu.edu, look for the Engine Orange logo in the center of the page. Below that is the search box where you could simply type some terms and do a simple search, and below that is a link to the advanced search page. When you click that link, it's going to bring you here, and you'll see you have options for building a more complex search than what you could achieve in the simple box on the library's homepage. You still have boxes here to enter in search terms, but you now have a drop down menu with options to specify exactly what kind of information it is that you're entering. For instance, are you searching for a particular author's name or the title of a specific book or article? Below those search boxes, you also have additional options. You can search only for online full text, things that you can access and read electronically instead of coming to the building to get them. Or you can check another box to search only for articles from scholarly and peer-reviewed journals. You also have options such as the dates that something was published, language, etc. So let's look at putting in a search. Let's say that you are looking for information about global warming and maybe you want to understand how global warming is affecting penguins. We can put the phrase global warming in the first search box and put the word penguins in the second search box. You'll notice the database provides the and, or, and not options for connecting together your search terms. So we'll leave that at and. We want global warming and penguins both. And don't forget to put quotation marks around exact phrases in your searching. I will click the search button and wait for the database to bring us back our search results. And here they are. Once you're on the search results page, you have some additional options for narrowing your results down further. Some of these, like full text online and scholarly peer-reviewed journals, are options that you also saw on the advanced search page, publication date as well, but some of these are unique to the page where you have your results. Source types will be one of the most useful ways that you might want to limit your results. This would allow you to look only at certain kinds of resources. For instance, do you only need books? Do you only need journals? Anytime you're looking at one of these options, like source types or any of these other headings down the left-hand side, click the Show More link to see more options than just what it shows there. So for instance, we could see journals, books, etc. But once we click Show More, now we can see biographies, videos, and all of these other options that we couldn't see a moment ago. You can check one or several of these boxes to indicate what kind of material you need. Let's say for this research project, we want to find academic journals and books, but we don't want to find reviews, reports, or any of these other types of things. So we check those two boxes, and then we click Update. The database is now going to redo your search with the new limits that you have placed and bring back an updated list of results. Now some of the other options you'll see on the left that you might want to use at some point there is a checkbox for catalog only. The list of books that are shown in Engine Orange includes books that are owned by the SHSU library and books that are not owned by the SHSU library. If you check the catalog only box, it will help limit you only to sources that are actually listed in our catalog and will eliminate some of those books that we do not own. You also may want to look at headings such as subject, which takes a look at the words you entered for your search and then suggests some more precise subjects that might relate to what it is you're looking for. You can review these and if, and if any of them sound more precisely like what you're interested in, you can check one or more of these and use them to refine your search. Publication can also be useful if you're trying to find articles only from certain journals, magazines, or other publications. Now there is one other thing we should notice here when we're looking at our results. There's another menu bar here down the right. What is this? This is what we call integrated search connectors. Really big term. Basically, this is giving you access to some additional databases. So in Engine Orange, you're searching our catalog and quite a large number of our electronic databases that contain articles and documents. But not every single one of our databases can be in here. And that's because some of them 
simply aren't compatible with the technology behind Engine Orange, or they simply have not partnered with the company that provides the Engine Orange technology. However, some of the databases that cannot be integrated into these results can be pulled into this right-hand bar. So say you see a database over here like Gale Opposing Viewpoints and Context. You could click the link to that database and see the 57 results that were found for your search terms in that database. So this is just a little bit of a way to expand your search beyond what you initially find in Engine Orange. One last really neat trick I want to point out to you for advanced searching purposes is this alert save and share button. You can use this to get a URL which will always bring you directly back to this list of results. So if you've begun research but you want to come back and look at these results again later or maybe you're working on a project along with a classmate or a group of classmates and you want to be able to share your search results with them, just click alert save share and then highlight and copy this URL which you could then paste into an email and anyone who followed that link uh, and logged into their SHSU account would immediately get back to this same list of results. So that's just a very quick look at advanced searching in Engine Orange. Don't forget that at any time you can click the new search link in the upper left corner to begin to get back to the advanced search page and begin a new search. You can click library home to get back to our home page. Or over to the right, you can click the Exit to All Databases button, Exit to see all SHSU databases, and that will take you to a list of every single database that we subscribe to, whether it is included in Engine Orange or not, in case you've decided that you need to go one step further beyond Engine Orange to continue your research process.